Holy hell, boys and girls. Look at that tree. I feel like that tree was like five spillways up a couple years ago. You remember like four videos ago, I fished a place up in a waterfall, caught channels, the place that Jordan was at. That tree was there, I swear to you. I swear. It's like two miles away. That tree has been on a journey, but this place has also been on a journey. It's kind of looking like crap. There used to be 30 pound fly heads that sat on the other side. I never caught them, but I saw pictures from medium homie, homie Nathan did. And yeah, we're just gonna see what's floating around. We're gonna have a special guest too and stuff. What is going on, you dirty old stash trees? It is me, it is that tree, it is you guys here watching it. And then we're gonna have a special guest coming wandering down the hill here in a little bit. And yeah, this looks terrible, but uh, yeah, it also looks kind of cool. You know, there's fish there, it's awesome. We fished, uh, we fished a similar type of spillway, the better one. And it was actually pretty loaded with fish and I did catch a flathead, so yeah. Same creek, same idea, same concept. Early in the morning, super hot today, so we got a couple hours and we'll give up. We'll try again tomorrow morning. We're just doing all mornings this week. That's the schedule, if you even care. If you're new here, you don't care. If you're new here, subscribe though. We're going to 169. Choo choo. Anyway, come along with me, see what we can catch. Stuff the things, pop out. I about thought I left my night crawlers at the last spot. And I was getting ready to climb back up the hill and drive to the last spot to get my crawlers. But luckily, we do not have to do that. We can just do this. And our special guest needs our other pole. We're gonna have to do some rigging for our special guest too here in a GIF. But first, let's see if we can catch them. Weightless. We've done various, this is the week of teaching you night crawler techniques, or at least you know, bringing up night crawler techniques, teaching is a strong word, but yeah, we've had to use small jig heads. We've had, we've had to use bobbers. We've had to use big jig heads. And now we're having to use weightless. I know, absolutely insane, isn't it? Insane. Not really, but it will teach you how to catch fish out of some weird ass places. And it is the best way to catch fish if you don't have a lot of time. With that being said, a jig head might come into play. I might just walk that wall and like stand far away all stealthy like so they can't see me and see if I can't pluck one out that way. I'm not seeing a lot of fish activity. Maybe that's because it's not super in the early in the morning. At the last spot, it kind of got shittier as it got lighter, but we'll see. Gotta be something in here though. Gotta be something and stuff. There's something bigger down the way. What do we got? Another micro channel cat. Well, Blue hasn't caught a fish for a while, and this is a place that Blue can catch it. Ah, dang it. Secret special guest revealed. She hasn't caught fish for a while, and there's a lot of fish out there, so. She'll catch something, then we'll figure out somewhere else to go. Or maybe I'll catch a 30 pound flathead right now. I have no idea. That thing hammered it. Not much bigger, but a little bigger. Definitely hit it harder. The other ones have been like, pick, 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 pick. This one was like, donk. Got something, got something on the square bill of all things. Felt bigger at first. Now it's stuck in something. He's out. Nice, not bad. You know, night crawlers catch it all, but sometimes switching to a lure can pull the game fish out of a turd puddle. He ain't big, but it's kind of pretty. Kind of healthy. Got some blue going on. And yeah. Not knocking it out of the park, but I mean, we're in the park. Cool. Species number three. You guys didn't see the bluegill, but there was one. Trust me. I was really hoping that was going to be a flathead, but we'll take a bath. 
The idea was throw a square bill. What in the hell kind of rig is that? Throw a square bill to knock a little flathead on the head and make him go snap, snap. But a bass is better than what we have caught so far, so. We will take it. Might be the only fish we get on this square and bill, though. And old Boobles has arrived up in the parking lot. Just in time for us to probably leave. Probably should have called and warned her, but. Actually, I did call and warn her, but she's just already in the parking lot. Already in the parking lot. Got something. Got something decent on the square bill. Square bill's doing it, boys and girls. Doing it. I mean, the uh, weightless nightcrawler was doing it on tiny channels, but where's Boobles at? She was in the parking lot like five minutes ago. I guess I left my phone over on that rocky thing over there, so maybe she's called 40 times since then. We better go check. Cool. I mean, healthy LM busy out of a water fizzy. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna try just a little bit more. See if I can cross, cross paths with a flathead. And I'm gonna try a baby whale, cause it does kind of get deep on that back end over there. And the square bill wasn't hitting the bottom, so. We'll try her out. Boo's got a weightless night crawler on a dang pole that's too stiff, but. Probably the best chance at catching something and stuff. Oh! I had something on a baby whale and it slammed it right at the falls. Damn. Slammed it. Shoot. Probably another large mouth, but would have taken it. And stuff. Yeah, this pool's kind of a little deeper. You got him? Nice. A little baby kitten. Hell yeah. He's vibrating. He's talking to you, chatting you up. He is pretty cute. Can you take a picture? You actually want a picture? So cute. Picture for Instagram? With my camera that's smashed and I think the kid broke it? Maybe I did, I don't know. He looks monstrous. Congrats, boo. Congrats. Monster. I mean, it is something though, and you haven't, yeah, you know, it tugged. Are they down there bebopping you? Hey, bebopping. Yeah, doing pretty good there, boobles. That's bigger than any of the channels I caught. I also caught a rock, but that's okay. Should we do a new picture? You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> I was definitely closer to the first one. <laughs> you know, boo, it's okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everyone's fine. Absolutely legendary, boobles. Oh, he's trying to poke you. I got your picture. Oh. Hey, man. I mean, not great. Not bad, though. Nux. Nux. Nux me. Oh, no, Nux no, me. No, no. Good job. Oh, I, got I got a rock, Boobles. You jerk. Why is that so funny? <laughs> Yo, you got a bluegill. Or is that a hybrid? 
No, it's a bluegill. You are crushing it. Nice. Hell yeah. It means a lot more when you don't get a fish as much. I've been experiencing that myself too with the extra kid duties. Even though I get a fish a lot, I still appreciate the small ones more. You know? You can't be you can't be too good for the little ones. Well, keep her going. See if we can catch something big and Oh shoot. LM Bizzies. We got some channel kizzies and some LM Bizzies boobles. All right, yeah, yeah. Want your picture for Instagram? Uh, sure. If you want to post our pictures together. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm good. No, I'm going pro, boobles. I'm almost to a 20-pound limit <laughs> at the waterfall. <laughs> Minus about 17 pounds, but who's counting? Who's counting boo oh i'm busy 22 pound limit call billy dance oh, okay. jesus <laughs> jimmy you're going the wrong way whoa 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 he's like a little salmon trying to swim upstream he'll be out he'll be okay I haven't cast it over you yet. Where's your line at? Should probably get on that. You said there's a giant sea in it. When I was fishing with the night crawlers, I was just getting, they just kept ripping it off and I wasn't really catching any, so you got the touch. You got the channel cat touch and I got a 22 pound limit of LM busies. So, I mean, this might be the best spot in the world now as far as I'm concerned. I really think there's probably a small flathead in here. We just got to figure out how to catch it. I would think so. I've caught walleyes, wipers. I never caught a flathead, but I've seen them caught. Um, channels, green sunfish, bluegills, rocks. Caught a rock again. I don't know. It's kind of a little melting pot. Get out of there, baby whale. Get out of there. All right, well, Boo's having fun. I'm catching some LM busies, and I don't know, we might just stay here for a little while longer at least. Maybe go get some breakfast and go somewhere else, else with Boobles on her day off. On her day off. Definitely wet, but it feels pretty good. And the sun effed off, so that's a plus. Oh, the sun's back. Spoke too soon. Oh. I got booped by probably an LM Bizzle. That would have definitely added to my limit. We would have cold. Just kidding, but that was a reasonably sized one. I'm kind of sad he came off. Sometimes it's the the sometimes it's the little things in life, you know. The little LM busies are what make the world go around. I was definitely hooked on somebody else's line or something there. I don't know, we might have to go down creek. It looks shitty, but there might be some depth down there. It's probably worth a walk instead of driving somewhere else. Just walk down there, catch a few more fish with boobles, go to a nice breakfast in our shitty wet shoes. Classy. Oh. Holy shit, that's a pretty good one. Where did these things come from? Holy moly. All right. That thing slammed it. I thought that was a different species because he didn't just gum job it. I mean, that's reasonable. He is barely hooked. Yeah. 
shoot. There's like seven or eight largemouth out there. Where'd they come from? I thought he was like a two pounder, but he's not. When he first jumped though, he looked kind of big. Nah, he's, he's like a one and a quarter. He might be the biggest one. I haven't talked about baby whales for a while. You guys missed me talking about baby whales. I think we're gonna make a baby whale shirt. Finally got the okay from Sixth Sense that we're gonna do stuff. Check out baby whales discount code stash. Finesse jig head, one eighth ounce, three inch pro shad baby whale. 22 pound bass limit out of a shitty creek. Get you some. And the square bill was a crush 25. X. X. Epic. All right, we're gonna keep fishing and stuff. Channel cat duty. Who broke off? Tied on a new hook. She's whaling it and I'm on crawler duty. I don't know if we actually are gonna go down the way. Our crawlers have melted. It's already 90 something and it's 10 o'clock. No! I wanna try to save that guy. He's our only baby whale. I guess I have more in the car, but. Be that hard. No, if I get to the other side, it'll be fine, I think. Oh no, my line broke. Why does it keep doing that? It did that yesterday too. It like broke like right here. It's a brand new line. Like one of my eyelids has to be like or something. My pole's broken. Tied on a new leader. And I just went to like, I just dropped my bait down to get ready to cast and it just fell off. The eyelid at the end is broken. You can keep fishing though. Gotta tell the folks. What folks? I'll be in a lot of your videos now. I ain't making my own because I ain't got time. I'm not peeing right now. You're going back to being in my videos? Yeah. That'll be fun. We're a team again. Reunited. All right, so I don't know what I left in, but the 6.6 six medium light stash stick is effed. Top eyelet straight shred in my braid. I'm not even sure how I caught fish today without losing it. Maybe it just happened today. It had to have happened right now. I caught so many fish on it today. I don't know what I did to break it though. Anyway, the old little Timmy has finally died. I've put it through a lot for two years. So that doesn't mean little Timmy's a piece of shit. That just mean, means little Timmy got actually abused to the point that he gave up. He gave up. Thanks for meeting me here. It got better once you got here. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for the invite. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, well, thanks for watching. You're check, welcome. check out, oh, you're gonna watch this one. <laughs> check out Booble's channel, even though she said we're a team again and she's just gonna be on my videos. We'll see what happens, you know, still subscribe just to subscribe. Yeah, love. Peace, There's love, and love. peace, uh, love, and 22-pound bass limits out of the f***ing creek. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Share, or uh, give my old video some love. Yeah, go Look watch. Forward to the new one. Yeah, go watch Boo's old videos. Anyway, this is long and drawn out and awkward. Thanks for watching. Road to 169K. Breakfast. Breakfast. Rock and roll. And stuff.